Where are the cyberpunks of today? The rebels that see the technology coming out of big high-tech companies and decide they want to use it differently. This video looks at the people who are taking the futuristic tech we have today and making it their own. We will look at Elon Musk's own cyberpunking ways and focus on the people who are taking apart Teslas, creating their own DIY Mad Max cars. There are also the cyberpunkers who are harvesting Tesla batteries to electrify other areas such as their homes and even skateboards, building their own city of the future. Before we take a look at the Tesla cyberpunkers, let's go back and see how Elon Musk was a cyberpunker himself, and how his cyberpunking ways have led to the high-tech companies he runs today. Companies with technology that other people are looking to make their own. One of Elon's first startups, Zip2, looked to take on the Yellow Pages by getting businesses online. X.com, which later became PayPal, took on banks and brought banking online. Looking further back, one of the people that hired Elon for an internship during his college days said that Elon had a PC hacker background and was not afraid to just go figure things out. When he was younger, Elon sold a video game when he was 12 years old that he had learned to code. You could even say Elon Musk is still cyberpunking it today even as a billionaire. SpaceX was started to rebel against NASA and the lack of ambition in the space industry. Elon says that we should already have a base on the moon. And while building their own satellite internet constellation Starlink, the engineers at SpaceX were testing it by playing video games. Elon Musk's whole way of thinking is based on rebelling against traditional ways if they are not the best ways of doing things. He uses first principle thinking. Usually people do something a certain way because it is the trend or has been done that way in the past. With first principle thinking, you break a complicated problem into its most basic elements and rebuild it back up. This lets you find the fundamental truths. For example, people said that battery packs are really expensive and that this is how it will always be. So electric cars can't be built. But this way of thinking can't be applied to anything new, otherwise you won't be able to create new things. The old accepted way of thinking needs to be rebelled against. Break down how batteries are made. What are they made of? How are they made? How can they be made better, faster, and cheaper? Just because batteries for cars were too expensive in the past does not mean an electric car company for the future can't be built. Have a look at a few of Elon's other projects, showing that he keeps creating things that people have not seen before. Let's move on to high-tech cars. When taking a look at Tesla cars, the first thing to know is that Tesla is not a car company. They are a company from the future. Tesla is a tech company, a car and battery company, and an energy company. They are also an artificial intelligence company, manufacturing AI chips that are three to four years ahead of the competition. So it is no wonder that people are taking apart Tesla cars and using the sci-fi-like tech for their own creations. There is the YouTuber and Tesla rebuilding expert, Rich Rebuilds. He Frankensteins Tesla cars together. For example, he takes one that has had the back smashed from a crash and another that has been crashed in the front. Then he cuts them apart and Frankensteins the two working halves together and transplants the electronics from one Tesla into the other, creating a working Tesla. But rebuilding a high-tech Tesla does not mean that you can just simply put parts together to make a working car. Since Teslas are hooked up to the internet, they are connected back to Tesla. Taking a Tesla apart ends with warnings that can disable the car. Just by taking out the back seats leads to safety warnings, disabling the car, and instructing you to contact Tesla. And spare parts won't be sold to people rebuilding their own Teslas. Rich buys wrecked Teslas to harvest spare parts. He wants to help stop the throwaway culture as wrecked Teslas do get abandoned and Rich does not want to see such a high-tech car get abandoned and covered in dirt with trees growing in them. Tesla, like many companies, says that the parent company should be the only ones to rebuild their product. This brings up the question of whether you actually own a product after buying it. Rich says that you should be allowed to fix it yourself, that people should know more about the products they own. Rich has helped rebuild over 100 Teslas, 
For a more Mad Max style Tesla build, there is the Teslanda Hot Rod. Hot rods are classic cars that have been modified with added large engines. And this is what Jimmy from Jimmy Built did with an old Honda Accord, electrifying it with a motor from a Tesla Model S and batteries from a Chevy Volt. He did this so that he could work on figuring out the future of hot rodding. He is another DIYer that had to crack the Tesla software and parts to get it all working together. As more people transplant Tesla tech into their own creations, more information will be added online, making it easier for other people to do it too. Yehu Garcia is another person who has electrified old cars. He started out as a carpenter and later taught himself and became an expert on batteries. His main build is an electrified vintage Volkswagen bus that uses Tesla batteries. But Yehu has gone a step further and has taken inspiration from Tesla's Powerwall to create a battery pack to power his house. Governments and utility companies do not want people running their houses off of the grid in the cities. But Yehu says that everyone will have the ability to make their own power, so there won't be a need for utilities, as batteries are the future and will let us take control of energy. A power wall is a battery pack for a house that uses more modern lithium-ion batteries. So the same batteries that the DIYers use to electrify old cars can be used in the same way for a house. To build his own power wall, Yehu used the same type of batteries Tesla first used in their cars. The batteries were harvested mostly from old discarded laptops, and they were linked together to create a battery pack that was large enough to power his home using solar panels. One of Yahoo's more recent projects was building an extended range trailer for his VW bus. This is a large battery pack using Tesla batteries that is built on a trailer. The trailer is kept in the garage and is used as a power wall to power the house. Then, when it's time to go on a long-range road trip, it gets hooked up and towed to power an electric car or van, just like a power bank for a phone. A company named EV West can be seen in a lot of Yahoo's YouTube videos and they have built a number of electric conversions using classic cars. There is the Volkswagen Beetle, powered by harvested Tesla Model S batteries. A 1957 Porsche Speedster, also using the Tesla Model S batteries. And a Volkswagen Thing, to name a few. The Volkswagen Thing conversion uses Tesla brakes, a Tesla motor, and can use a Tesla charger cable, meaning it can charge at most Tesla charger stations. Rich from Rich Rebuilds lives in Massachusetts, which means he is protected when it comes to fixing Tesla cars to a certain degree. This is because of the Right to Repair Act. There is a growing movement that is pushing tech companies to allow people to fix their own devices. Repair tools, equipment, spare parts, and software are to be made available to owners and independent repair businesses. This is because large companies do not want you opening up their devices, saying it could end up being dangerous. It has gone as far as companies sending legal notices to YouTubers to stop posting videos of them fixing their devices. And this applies to a wide range of high-tech products, from phones to Tesla cars and even high-tech farming equipment. The parent companies do not want everyday people to fix the products, even if they own them. It is understandable since a company like Tesla wants to keep their cars as safe as possible. If a person rebuilds their own Tesla and makes a mistake or has an accident, it could end up being front page news, with the Tesla badge and logo at the center of the story rather than the person who rebuilt it, hurting Tesla's safety reputation and momentum in pushing the electric car movement forward. But Tesla has come a long way over the years, becoming a mainstream company. When they were starting out though, like many electric car companies that had been killed off before they came along, Tesla was going up against established, old school and powerful industries. People were looking for ways to show that electric cars should not be on the streets, so it makes sense that Tesla needs to protect its reputation. On the opposite end, Tesla have made their patents open sourced, meaning that other companies can use their tech in their own creations. Elon Musk made Tesla's patents available to use because he wanted the electric vehicle space to grow faster, saying that everyone would benefit from an open and rapidly developing technology platform. Elon says that Tesla's competition is not with other electric vehicles, but fighting against the flood of gas-powered vehicles coming out of factories every day. 
The reason Tesla is open with its patents and not open with rebuilders is that if a company uses a Tesla patent, they are not using the Tesla badge and logo as their own, unlike the rebuilders who have Tesla's reputation in their hands. There are a lot of examples of people taking Tesla tech and transplanting it into other cars. But what about taking a Tesla car and Mad Maxing it to create a different kind of vehicle? Simone Yach is a YouTuber that has moved on from making bad robots to making more functional machines. She got tired of waiting for Tesla and Elon Musk to make an electric pickup truck, and not wanting to buy a gas-powered truck, she went and made her own electric one by cutting apart a brand new Tesla car. She named it Truckla. Simone got help from her builder friends, including Rich from Rich Rebuilds, and they figured out the build as they went along. A brand new Model 3 was used because of the steel frame, which is easier to modify than an aluminum one. And the first thing Simone did after buying it was to key the word Trucla onto the trunk, so she wouldn't get attached to the brand new car. The end design had them cut off the top back part of the Tesla, which meant cutting out part of the frame. The frame then needed to be Mad Max reinforced to keep it from folding in on itself. The interior was stripped out, the back window was taken off, the frame was cut, support was added, and pieces from other trucks were transplanted onto Truckla. A truck bed from a Ford F-150 was used, along with the back window and frame from a Chevy Colorado. And a modified roof rack bought from Craigslist was fitted. All of this was done to a brand new Tesla. Though Simone was allowed to go to the unveiling of the Cybertruck, she was told that Truckla was not allowed near the area. The team at EV West have also turned a Tesla into a pickup truck. Wanting to transport their electric dirt bikes in an electric pickup truck, they used a salvaged Model S and cut the back top half away. They were also able to bypass the software and use an onboard compressor to adjust the height of the suspension of each wheel separately. Teslas have sensors to restrict suspension height, but the team at EV West did not put any of the sensors on their DIY Tesla truck allowing them to set the suspension as high as possible. Next on the battery hacking list is a skateboard. If there is an electric skateboard that has a range of 5 miles, but you live 15 miles away from work, what would you do? This was the problem facing Ren from the YouTube channel The Corridor Crew. Inspired by Tesla cars, he harvested batteries and made extra battery packs for his skateboard. The batteries he used, the 18650, are the same ones used by Yahoo, Tesla in their first cars, and are the kind that are recycled from old laptop batteries. The thinking behind the project was that if these batteries can power a Tesla car, a few packs could power his skateboard. So Ren created two battery packs made up of 10 batteries each. These were then wired directly into the skateboard. He ended up facing the problem of the skateboard limiting how low the main battery will drain, even though the extra batteries he made had some charge left. This would require an additional modification to get the most out of the electric skateboard. Ren also has a video where he electrifies an ordinary bicycle, using batteries and an electric motor that is mounted to the bicycle using 3D printed parts. Adding to the number of ways the electric city of tomorrow is being built. And on the next episode of Venture City, we take a look at 3D printing humans and all of the ways 3D printing machines are being used to print different human parts. Hit the subscribe and thumbs up button to not miss a video.